Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Happy President's Day. Now, did you know it was President's Day? This is one of those holidays that people always think, what, it's, it's close to Valentine's Day, so you have a long weekend. But other than that, and shopping and a long weekend, I don't think most people even realize that several presidents' birthdays were combined to be one President's Day, because why we had too many holidays? Hmm. Was it Lincoln and Washington and who was the other one involved? There must have been another. No, they gave this. They gave their birthdays to Martin Luther King. Ah, that's why. So now Martin Luther King has a day, and then presidents is Lincoln and jo and George Washington. Even though they're not born on this day. Yeah, I know. But anyway, happy President's Day. We're going to bring little Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. There is no way Romney can win, but the Republicans are going to stick with him. Well, I know. They basically, this, uh, as of this moment in time, Santorum is now up over in the national polls by 8% uh, over Romney and in the Republican polls by 11% over Romney. The party does not want him. The country doesn't want him. And the only, but the Republicans figure that if they put Romney in, he accidentally wins like Bill Clinton did, that um, they got one of theirs in, which will keep the policies going of spend and spend and spend and spend. And if he doesn't lose, then they have an If he doesn't win, they got an issue. So they don't really care about the presidency. You can, they, I listen to people's point, they said, you can tell by who is being allowed to run whether they care. The people that actually wanted to do something for the country were all eliminated before the first primary was held. And Goliath's new Samsung phone divides gadget junkies technology. Okay, folks, it's just the same size as the stupid Galaxy Tab, which is a cell phone. That you know, that seven-inch thing. It's a it's a cell phone. I mean, people use uh, see remote controls that are the size of a tablet that they play with in their homes. Mm. And veterans press Obama on welcome home for Iraq troops. Well, it's not going to happen because Obama basically this is a. Uh, the, the, the removing the troops is going to be an unmitigated disaster, and his sec, his uh, secretary of defense has said it. The head of his general has said it. His party has said it. He doesn't care because he needs to bring them home. Or my people might see I have working class Obama with me today. That's his name, working class. Uh, and gasoline pushes inflation up in January. But don't worry because your homes are worth so little that you're not actually paying more for any of the products that you're purchasing. Uh, that's how the mom administration figures inflation. That, well, because of George Bush and the Republicans' policies, your house is worth 50% uh, of less what it was when you bought it uh, when a Democrat was in control of the country. And uh, because of that, there is no real inflation. Despite the fact that you're paying two dollars more for a gallon of gas, that you're paying a buck more for a gallon of milk, that you're paying a 40, 50 cents more for a loaf of bread, that's not inflation. And Romney faces questions about intensity of support. He don't, oh, and there is no support for him. They said Obama, uh, Romney has never gotten more than 30 percent of the support of the people in the Republican Party. You can't win the election with no support from the party. I love this, his game plan, they said it. His whole game plan is that if I win the a nomination, the conservatives, the people that don't want to vote for me will come to support me. No, Republicans, if they don't like the candidate that the party's forced on them, basically sit on their hands and don't vote. Okay, that uh, McCain could have easily beaten Obama in the last election. But the Republican right did not come out to vote for the man. If you read, they don't vote for you, you don't win a Republican election. You can win a nomination without it, but you can't win the election. And decision day for second Greek bailout. I know. Um, well, to put it this way, when this is being shot, it's, it's nighttime in Greece, and there's been no bailout again. Are you serious? There's been no bailout because the finance, uh, they can't figure out how to make it work. A lot of the people are coming up with the idea, well, we'll bail them out and then throw them out of the European Union. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not going to work. So. And UN inspectors arrive in Iran for nuclear talks. Yeah, which was going nowhere because they're not going to get to be seen anything. They're not going to get shown anything. Okay, the very stuff that Ahmadinejad broke to the world a couple of days ago about their new facilities is not going to be seen by the uh, inspectors. Oh. They're not going to allow them into it. And China paper says West stirs civil war in Syria. Probably. You know, because they're wanting uh, that guy gone 
the, okay, the, the, put it, put it, the Russians and the, and the Chinese do not want um, fundamentalist Muslims in control of those countries in the Middle East because it means that uh, they don't believe in the modern world. What, what they have to sell from China and Russia is modern world. So they want to keep the status quo and the United States basically, we screwed it up in Egypt. We're screwing, I mean, good, good, good. I mean, working class Obama has something to say. Did, did, Syria, did the Libyan people that are running the country send hand to ground air missiles over to Algeria? Oh my God, did they do that? Why didn't it get reported a lot? Because Obama goofed. And for Santorum voters, he's a candidate like them. Yeah, and Romney isn't. Santorum is a self-made man. Romney inherited everything. And when you inherit, you don't understand. And when accused his top shareholder and buys out his stake. Oh, I love it. He bought him out for $1.9 billion in, uh, in IOUs. What? Oh, yeah. I will pay you the money that I owe you in 10 years. Well, you can guess that the guy from Japan, that's the owner yeah. of one of the largest gambling organizations in the world, that did not go over well with him. And he's basically, he snitched on, on when to the feds, and the feds are now investigating bribery. Uh-huh. Yeah. And special report, Myanmar declares war on opium. Yeah, that's where they make their money. They, they, they declare war on opium. The war is basically, they, the, uh, they pick and choose who's going to sell drugs to the West. Mm. And data collection arms race feeds privacy fears. Uh, yeah, and that's something because um, Google is violating the rules. Facebook is violating the rules. The phone company, um, the, years ago I worked on a movie called The President's Analyst with, um, with uh, James Coburn and, um, and uh, Pat Harrington Jr. And the, the phone company had been collecting evidence on everybody for years. Uh -huh. He found out that was a big secret that he discovered the phone company actually ruled the world. And prison fight kills 44 in Mexico. Yeah, including uh, a government official that was there to see if the con I love it. You always kill the person that's there to see what the conditions are like for you. Mm -hmm. Because then they basically make it worse. And North Korea ruling party to meet and may make succession official. Yeah, well, like the succession was that, that he controls the army and the army controls the country, so he's officially the head of North Korea. Ah, and Merkel backs East German activist for president. I know, uh, that's not going to go over well in West Germany. Uh, they don't want an activist government in Germany, so what is Merkel doing in order to try to gain the support of people that no one wants? Mm -hmm. She basically promotes a guy that basically wants to overthrow the universe. And a big tax present for 160 million wage earners. Yeah, but it's a disaster for 160 million wage earners because it means there's no Social Security money being collected. They're spending, they're breaking the fund, and um, and nobody seems to under, get it through their head that the money is not going into Social Security. And, you know, here's what it said. This is exactly what I heard a person say this morning on Good Morning America. Oh, good, that $80 a month that I'm getting extra is going to pay for the gasoline that I have, that I'm buying, but it'll only pay for it right now because tomorrow's going to be higher and I won't be able to afford it again. Mm -hmm. And wounded Syrian refugees flee dramatic escalation. Yeah, because the Syrian government's not going to back down like the ones in Egypt did. They've got to, the, the problem was in Egypt, Mubarak was an 80-some-year-old man dying of cancer. Uh, the difference is Assad is in his 40s. He's been educated in Western uh, Western world, and he is a military dictator. And he's not going to give in real easily. And Santorum surges, but scrutiny intensifies. Well, yeah, because the, oh, I mean they they went after the man's uh, a dead child of his yesterday with the well. Don't you think that if your wife had a been proper prenatal care? That uh, she wouldn't have, you would not have had your child die mm -hmm. after it was born. Mm -hmm. It didn't make any sense. The child was born dead, and then he got pissed off and really. But but put it this way, folks: the Democrats have now crossed the Rubicon. It is over, as far as uh, anything, because it means the president's daughters are now open territory to everyone. And terror suspect arrested their capital and FBI sting. Oh yeah, the guy thought they said people were going to give him a suicide bomb to go kill people in the, in the you know, in the Senate and House. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. 
that th this is an oldie from Confucius. If all that you seek to find is um, the bad in everyone or in the world, you surely will find what you seek every time. <laughs>